So here, <clears throat> suppose we have an object here, and that object is a four fourths acting on this object, like a first one, like the F1 is equal to 58 kilonewtons and it's working in is pulling this with the angle of 30 degrees we have f2 f2 is uh, with 50 kilonewtons with the angle of 45 degrees in the <coughs> the f3 f3 uh, is pulling this object with a force of 45 degrees 45 kilonewtons with the angle of so the angle is not mentioned we have the have the line of lines for triangle 13 5 and 12 and we have the our fourth force is acting along the x-axis it means the f4 is equal to 40 kilonewtons so first what we're gonna do so first of all we're gonna divide all the forces with into their coordinates we find all of their coordinates like first of all we will start with f1 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 x f1 x is equal to so we have uh, we have to divide all the forces to their coordinates like f1 x is equal to 50 58 58 58 kilonewtons times we have the x so the x is, is cosine of with 30 degrees is equal to f1 x is equal to 50.23 kilonewtons f1 for f f1 y is equal to we have the same 58 58 uh, f1 is 58 kilonewtons times change the from cosine to sine sine of 30 degrees is equal to when we find when we multiply these f1 y is equal to 29 kilonewtons this is for the first force and their coordinates and now so this is for f1 f1 we go now for f2 so the f2 x for the x f2 x so you will see that f2 x is on the this is the the positive side and uh, the x is then if we see the first part the first part in the first plane we have the x positive and y is also positive in the second plane we have the x minus but y is positive so here we will get the fourth minus <coughs> f1 x is uh, if 2x is equal to 50 we have the force 2 is force 2 is 15 50 kilonewtons times cosine of we have the angle 45 degrees 45 degrees and then when we multiply all these two we will get the f2 x is equal to minus 35.36 kilonewtons and now we'll go for f2y so if 2 y is positive we'll get so you don't have to write the sign 50 times sine of 45 degrees when we multiply these two we'll get the f2y is equal to 35.36 kilonewtons and now we'll go for f3 So the f3 x, f3, f3 x. So it's um, both sides, both planes mean the y and the x are minus. So when both uh, x and y are min uh, or minus, so we will go for like a f3 is f3 x is equal to. We will get the force. We have the f our f3 forces. F3 forces 45, 45 kilonewtons times 45 kilonewtons. So we don't have the angle here. So we'll use the like a, we'll use the um, 
use these lines and the, the lines value like uh, 45 minus 45 minus 45 times we will get like a 5 divided by 13 when we multiply these two we'll get the f 3x is equal to f 3 x minus 17.31 kilonewtons and we go for f 3y is equal to it's also minus 45 times it's a uh, like a 12 divided by 13 is equal to f 3y is equal to it's also minus when we multiply these two we'll get 41.54 kilo newtons so this is for the third force when you go when now we came for the fourth force it means the f4 f4 so for f4 we see that the f4 is on the, on the x-axis so we'll just so it means that we don't have y coordinate for the f force it means f uh, it means uh, f uh, f4 f4 has just only have x axis the force x coordinate and it's equal to 40 kilo newtons we will just have the x coordinate and there are there will not be a X co y component for this force so if we find that in a triangular representation way we have a formula f, f is equal to f parentheses cosine of theta x x i plus sine sine of theta y j so this is the formula for finding that those force in another way in a triangular presentation way so for this we got we had like a if we go for f1 first of all f1 is equal to the force we got with the force for the f1 was 58 58 times we will parentheses cosine of theta so theta we had for 58 we got 30 degrees 30 degrees 30 degrees i plus sine of theta 30 and j is we have will j put we put the j is here and now we will, will multiply the 58 inside the parentheses with cosine of 30 degrees and sine of 30 degrees when we do that thing we will get 50 50.23 i plus 29 j kilo newtons this is for F1 and if we go for F2 it means the second force for the second force we had it was uh, we have our force was 50 well, our force was 50 and cosine was minus we had minus negative cosine negative cosine of 45 degree plus sine of 45 degrees 45 degrees here we have i and here we have j and when we multiply this inside the parentheses the f2 is equal to minus 35.36 i plus 35.36 j kilo newtons this is for force 2 and for force 3 for force 3 we had we didn't have the angle we had just the the number for lines of triangle so our force was 45 kilonewtons and it was minus 5 divided by 13 minus 12 divided by 13 here we have i and here we have the j and when we multiply this force inside this parenthesis we will get minus 17.31 i minus 41.54 j kilo newtons and this is for the third force and for the fourth 
fourth we didn't we just had the x axis we had the, the we don't had the, it was on the x coordinates and uh, x axis and there will just we have the x coordinate not y so f fourth would be equal to 40 i kilo newtons and so here another example like uh, suppose this is our x and y axis we have a force at this angle we name it P this force is equal to 720, 722 kilo and it has given the line 2 3 and 13 under square root and we have another force here it's Q 200 LBs and the angle that we have for this force is 60 degrees and we have another force in this direction 1 2 and 5 under square root and this force is equal to 448 LBs LBs and we have another force here the degree is 20 degrees and the force is 400 LBs 400 LBs and then now we will find for all of these forces we have to find the coordinates so first of all we'll go for we start with the P it means PX it means the X coordinate is equal to 722 the force that this will work we will have uh, for PX we have cosine so cosine is is a cosine is a adjacent by hypotenuse so we have 2 divided by thir square root of 13 and when we multiply 217 with 2 divided by 13 square root we will get 400.49 lbs this is for px and now we will go for py so py again we will get 200, 200, 722 lbs of force multiply with the 3 divided by a square root of 13 it means the opposite divided by hypotenuse when we multiply these two we will get the f the py would be equal to 600.74 lbs now we'll go so our p is finished so this is the p and now we will go for Q so the the QX the QX would be equal to so the QX we have the, the force 200 LBs we have the angle that means the cosine of we have the uh, cosine of uh, 60 degrees 60 degrees so when we cancel these cancel the cosine of 60 degrees and multiply it with 200 we will get uh, minus 100 LBs and we go for PY. So PY, we get the 200 LBs divide uh, multiply with sine of 60 degrees. And finally, we get our PY is equal to when we multiply 200 with sine of 60 degrees, we will get 173.20 LBs of force. And now we we'll go for the other force, like the the F, the third one, the third one is f so if x is equal to so when we see that fx so so the fx a lot it's in the third and the third uh, segment of the axis so it means the both x and y would be minus so so the first we have 400 448 and it's minus because of the it's in the third six segment of this axis axis and minus we don't have the angle so we have to find the adjacent end hypotenuse of and is two divided by square root of five for cosine and uh, when we multiply those two we'll get minus four hundred minus four hundred point Seventy-seven. It means seven LBs, and this is 
for fx and we go for fy so fy is also equal it's minus because of I mentioned the reason and it's uh, the 1 divided by the square root of 5 when we multiply those two we will get the fy is equal to minus 200.35 lbs and now we'll go for the third one it means the the t so the tx the dx is equal to 400 we have the four that means the force 400 lb 400 means so uh, 400 so along so as long the the force is with the the, uh, the angle is with the y-axis to so the y-axis the x became sine it's something and uh, 400 sine of 20 degrees is equal to uh, it's equal to when we multiply these two when we multiply these two we'll get 136.81 l 81 lb is uh, tx and when we go for ty so ty is is negative okay we'll get the minus 400 and it's cosine cosine of 20 degrees when we multiply these two we'll get our tx no ty ty is equal to minus 375.88 lbs if we find that find those coordinates with a triangular rep representation way so f it means force is equal to force divide times times a uh, cosine cosine of theta xi plus sine of theta y j so this is the formula we will put all these things we got in this formula so for first of all we we'll go for the p it means the p is equal to uh, the p is equal to so the p uh, we got the fourth was 722 we got we didn't have the angle so we will got just these two two divided by 13 square root i plus and now we got the three divided divide by 13 square root of 13 j and when we uh, multiply this when we multiply 222 uh, inside the parentheses we will be get we will be getting 200 200 point four nine i plus 600 point seven four j lbs of force so it means this is the x coordinate and this is the y coordinate and now we'll go for the q so for the q we got our force was 200 lbs and we had the we had the angle so it means the cosine of 60 degrees i plus sine of 60 degrees j and when we multiply for 200 inside the parentheses we'll be getting minus minus 100 i plus 173.2 j lbs of force this is the x and this is the y the lb is for both of them okay so when for third force it means the f we had the third force was 448 we didn't have the angle we just had these two divide by square root of five so it's minus because it's in the third segment and it's i plus uh, one square divided by one square root of five five j j and when we multiply 400 inside the the f is equal to minus 400.7 i plus minus 200.53 j lb of force and now we'll go for the fourth one that means the t we got the force 400 400 sine of 20 degrees i plus 
the minus because the y was negative because of that it's in the cosine of uh, 20 degrees j close the parentheses is equal to 136 36.81 i minus 3 375.88 jlbs